Unix-like operating systems identify a user within the kernel by a value called a user identifier, often abbreviated to user ID or UID. The UID, along with the group identifier and other access control criteria, is used to determine which system resources a user can access. The password file maps textual usernames to UIDs, but in the kernel, only UIDs are used. UIDs are stored in the inodes of the Unix file system, running processes, tar archives, and the now obsolete network information service. In POSIX compliant environments, the command line command that gives the current user's UID, as well as more information such as the username, primary user group and group identifier. Process attributes. The POSIX standard introduced three different UID fields into the process descriptor table, to allow privileged processes take on different roles dynamically. Equals effective user ID equals, the effective UID of a process is used for most access checks. It is also used as the owner for files created by that process. The effective GID of a process also affects access control and may also affect file creation, depending on the semantics of the specific kernel implementation in use and possibly the mount options used. According to BSD Unix semantics, the group ownership given a newly created file is unconditionally inherited from the group ownership of the directory in which it is created. According to at and System 5 Unix semantics newly created files will normally be given the group ownership of the EGID of the process that creates them. Some file systems implement options for selecting at mount time whether BSD or at and semantics should be used regarding group ownership of newly created files. File System User ID Linux also has a file system user ID which is used explicitly for access control to the file system. It matches the UID unless explicitly set otherwise. It may be root's user ID only if ruid, swid, or ruid is root. Whenever the UID is changed, the change is propagated to the FSID. The intent of FSID is to permit programs to limit themselves to the file system rights of some given WID without giving that WID permission to send them signals. Since kernel 2.0, the existence of FSID is no longer necessary because Linux adheres to its USV3 rules for sending signals, but FSID remains for compatibility reasons. Equals saved user ID equals, the saved user ID is used when a program running with elevated privileges needs to temporarily do some unprivileged work, it changes its effective user ID from a privileged value to some unprivileged one, and this triggers a copy of the privileged user ID to the saved user ID slot. Later, it can set its effective user ID back to the saved user ID to resume its privileges. Equals real user ID equals, the real UID and real GID identify the real owner of the process and affect the permissions for sending signals. A process without super user privilege can signal another process only if the sender a Euro unregistered trademark s real or effective UID matches the real or saved UID of the receiver. Since child processes inherit the credentials from the parent, they can signal each other. Conventions equals type equals POSIX requires the UID to be an integer type. Most Unix-like operating systems represent the UID as an unsigned integer. The size of UID values varies amongst different systems. Some Unix OSs used 15-bit values, allowing values up to 32,767, while others such as Linux supported 16-bit UIDs, making 65,536 unique IDs possible. The majority of modern Unix-like systems have switched to 32-bit UIDs, allowing 4,294,967,296 unique IDs. Equals reserved ranges equals, the Linux standard base core specification specifies that UID values in the range 0 to 99 should be statically allocated by the system, and shall not be created by applications while UIDs from 100 to 499 should be reserved for dynamic allocation by system administrators and post-install scripts. On FreeBSD, porters who need a UID for their package can pick a free one from the range 50 to 999 and then register this static allocation in ports UIDs. 
Some POS IX systems allocate UIDs for new users starting from 500, others start at 1000. On many Linux systems, these ranges are specified in login defs, for use RAD and similar tools. Central UID allocations in enterprise networks may limit themselves to using only UID numbers well above 1000, to avoid potential conflicts with UIDs locally allocated on client computers. NFS v4 can help avoid numeric identifier collisions, by identifying users in protocol packets using user at domain names rather than integer numbers, at the expense of additional translation steps. Equals special values equals, zero, the super user normally has a UID of zero. A one, the value minus one is reserved by POS IX to identify an omitted argument. Nobody, historically, the user a euro oe nobody a euro was assigned UID minus two by several operating systems, although other values such as 215 a one equals 32767 are also in use, such as by OpenBSD. For compatibility between 16-bit and 32-bit UIDs, many Linux distributions now set it to be 216 a two equals 65534. The Linux kernel defaults to returning this value when a 32-bit UID does not fit in the return value of the 16-bit system calls. An alternative convention assigns the last UID of the range statically allocated for system use to nobody, 99. See also, Setruid, Sticky Bit, Group Identifier, Process Identifier, File System Permissions, Open, Mount, FAT Access Rights. References <laughs>